All you had to do was look at the look on Jordan Tyson's face, and you knew. You know, I, I saw your tweets on Saturday night. I knew you were going to check on it, and we knew today was going to be the day we were going to get news on it. In some yeah. ways, you didn't need it. In, in some ways, you... No, we knew. You, you knew. You could just see the look on his face. He, I, I, I don't know. I can't recall the last time I've seen an athlete look that crestfallen after a big win. He just looked like the saddest human being on the planet. And, and, and so today, yeah. Kenny confirmed it. Jordan Tyson's not going to play in the Big 12 title game. He is... Such a great player. I mean, a great player. Got injured in the third quarter of that win over U of A. He's a redshirt sophomore. Walked off the field. You can see the left shoulder. He's grabbing that left shoulder. Went to the locker room. Um, I think the Fox broadcast said it was a collarbone. He yes. did return to the field. He had a sling on his left arm. Did return to the field. He never left. I checked on this while the game was you know, ending and going on. He, he never left the stadium. He didn't go to any hospital. The goal was just always get him back to Tempe, let the doctors take a look at him here. He also wanted to be in the locker room to celebrate sure, with his teammates. So he yeah. didn't want to just automatically go to a hospital in Tucson and go somewhere. He wanted to stay and be around his teammates. And just 10 wins, beating your rival. Uh, at that point, a chance to play in the Big 12 championship. There was a lot to still celebrate for him. But what a great season he had, and what a big loss that's going to be. Now, they've got a lot of other good receivers, but none like him. Mm. He is a special player. None that were putting up the numbers, especially over the last, during this win streak. They're, 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 he, the numbers he's put up has just been extraordinary. He, here's Kenny Dillingham earlier today. Yeah, jo Jordan's going to be out indefinitely. Uh, so, unfortunately, so we're going to, you know, I don't want to give a complete three, four-month out timetable but he's gonna be out indefinitely and if you believe in body language and a lot of the times i do th this audio doesn't do this answer justice kenny was asked today if jordan tyson could play if they make a run the answer says one thing but if you were to watch kenny when he answered the question i think you might know that the answer is probably no i really don't want to comment i don't know that the in the depth of that i just know like he's out indefinitely yeah there was just a look on his face that kind of said yeah i i can't say that he's not but yeah. everything about the yeah. way kenny answered that question would lead you to believe that he's not going to be available but if asu were able to beat iowa state and move on to the college football you playoffs. are so right about the the tear that he's been on his chemistry the way him and levitt have kind of worked together has been incredible during the five game winning streak he's got 44 catches for 624 yards and six touchdowns Think about that. Oh, yeah. Five-game winning streak. He has six touchdowns and 624 yards receiving. I mean, he is incredible. He's got over 1,000 yards receiving on 75 catches with 10 touchdowns. Like five games in a row, he's had at least seven receptions and 80 yards. And he he put on Instagram. Um, uh, did you read this yet? I'm just I saw that he posted on Instagram. Uh, okay, I didn't read, see it. I'll Go ahead it. and read it. Yeah, I'll no, I haven't it. read it yet. As heartbroken as I want to be, I know God got me. He's mistakeless. I'll never question his plan. He's already blessed me in the most unbelievable, unique, and great ways. Job's not done, though, and I know my boys got me, too. So even at that time, you knew, okay, it's not good. Yeah. It's it's not good. Now, you know, you've got Mateo at tight end. you got Stovall. you got Gilroy. There are plenty of weapons on that offense, plenty of weapons. Of course, you got Cam Scadaboo, your great running game. Sam Levitt is a terrific quarterback. There are other guys to throw the football to. None like him, but there are other guys that they will use, and those guys are going to step up and help them. Our poll question today is, at, what's your level of confidence that ASU is going to beat Iowa State? And I'm telling you, I'm, and I'm being God's honest truth here. Our options were very confident, confident, skeptical, very skeptical. I would put myself in the very confident category if Jordan Tyson were playing. I'd be very confident ASU would beat, uh, beat Iowa State. Because he's not there, I'm not as confident. I hear what you're saying about the guys who can fill the void, and I think some of them are capable of doing that. I think this game is now going to come down to Nick Saban's favorite college football player oh, yeah. in 2024. You know, that Cam Scadaboo guy? Yeah. That's got to be my favorite player in college football, man. This guy is rugged, <laughs> tough. Is. Yep. I mean, I just love a great competitor, and yeah. he's all that. But wait, two weeks ago, the guy who sits next to you was wondering why we were talking about the game between ASU and KC. <laughs> Case thing, right. but I wait. I'm I'm confused, Nick. Wait, because a week ago, well, you Nick were, didn't say it. I know, but the, on the set, they were like, "Why are we even talking about this game?" I know they would say, "I know." Desmond Howard said it, yeah, not it was, Nick it was, Saban, but just kind Desmond. of that show. Cam Scadaboo after the game gave the coolest answer to that. By the way, well, it means a lot. But I want to be this guy's favorite player. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, 
that's that's awesome. Great great coach. You know, he's one of the best of all time, and it's awesome. You know, but. I'm here. I'm in the present. I'm ready to win a Big 12 championship, and I'm here for this coach. Uh, he was tremendous again. Kim Scadaboo was in that game. 177 yards. He absolutely flat out dominated. Dominated. Big 12 Offensive Player of the Week for what is it? The fourth time this year, fifth time this year, has won the award. Player of the game. Right? And he, here's the yeah, he won the Bob Moran MVP award for Player of the Game. And here's the reason why Jordan Tyson's injury, while impactful, may not mean the ASU is going to lose. Iowa State's run defense is atrocious. It's been awful all year long. If there's one game that you're built to win without your best wide receiver, it might be this one because of how bad they are defensively in covering the run at Iowa State's. Yeah, I, like, again, I want to be careful what you wish for and that type of thing, well, I know, too. I'm just, just talking about stats. But, I'm just talking about stats. But they, yeah, because they did a really good job. You know, in in shutting down Kansas State at the end of that game, they actually held Kansas State to just one yard of total offense in the fourth quarter. Seventeen passing and negative sixteen rushing. And I think they're the and best. That was the fourth quarter of that game, negative sixteen rushing in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and I think they're the best scoring defense in in the Big Twelve. And, and you're right, they did a number. On, I was watching that game too, and they did a number on K State at the yeah, end. Right after they got the safety, that game with that whole game change. It's just Cam Scadaboo, and so this might be one of those games where they load up the box and try to take Cam Scadaboo away, and it's going to be up to Sam Levitt. To, to to find to somebody plays. else in the air to make plays. And he can. I'll, I'll he say can. this about Cam Scadaboo, though, and I was thinking about this driving in, and I really do believe this. If they win this week, I think Cam Scadaboo becomes the most popular player that program has had since Jake or Pat. Oh, that's a good that's a good one. I, I think he that's becomes a really good one. the most popular player that program has had since Jake Plummer or Pat Tillman. Now, there aren't a lot of great candidates to compare them to, and there isn't a lot of great team success to compare. And I'm not saying more popular than Pat Tillman. Don't misinterpret that. And I'm not since saying that. Since I'm just that saying, era. Since that since era. Since that era. I don't think there will have been a more popular Sun Devil than Cam Scadaboo if he indeed leads them to the college football playoffs. It's been that long since a singular player has resonated with the fan base the way Cam Scadaboo has resonated with the fan base. Again, not more popular than Pat. I don't know if that can ever happen. Not more popular than Jake. Jake led yeah, him to a Rose Bowl. more popular than Brock Osweiler. More popular than Andrew Walton. Rudy Carpenter. More popular than DJ Foster. Eno Benjamin. Brandon Ayuk. Yeah. Just go right on down the list yeah. of the great Sun Devils we've had in the last 20 years. Cam Scadaboo becomes more pop if he can lead them to the college football playoff and get into this thing. I, I, I think maybe it puts him not, in that category. Maybe even now. Like, I mean, the guy loses maybe. his dog. And it's social media, right? The social media now that wasn't uh, as prominent as it was back then. Yeah. You know, he's a popular guy. Loses his dog. They find his dog. Like, he's become a character. I just think there's something, and you know this too. I think, like, ASU, when they went to the Pac-12 title game 2013, yeah, it was a great ride. But we knew they weren't that good. <laughs> we knew they weren't that good. And once it ended, it was over. And we yeah. remember it, and we have fond memories, but not as fun. The Diamondbacks a year ago, hey, it's really cool if they get to the NLCS, but they lose to the Phillies. Beating the Phillies, going to the World Series, right? Like, you, sure. you need to get it over that hump to take it to the next level of cool. And I think if ASU gets to the next level and gets over the hump and takes it to the next level of cool, Scam, Cam Scadaboo reaches that stage of, man, he's the most popular guy they've had since Pat Tillman. And that's saying something. He's hugely popular with the fan he base. He really is. He, Chris, he, you know, the way he plays the game, the way, and he loves being a Sun Devil. Like, yeah. And that's oh, yeah. what you, he loves being a Sun Devil. Like, he can make a, like, if he doesn't make it in the NFL, he, he could have a career here somewhere doing something because he's so beloved as a player. Thanks for watching Burns and Gambo. Click to see more from the guys and hit the button in the middle to subscribe so you never miss a video from Arizona Sports.